Hi friends, I hope you're well this day. It is the middle of Compassion Week and there's all this flurry of activity around the church, even with our buildings mostly closed. Lots of people coming and going and um, picking up supplies for doing Compassion Week projects in their home and in other places and then bringing them back. And it's really wonderful to see and quite remarkable to me how there can be so much fullness in our Compassion Week this year, even with our buildings mostly closed. It's really quite a wonderful thing. I've been thinking about what compassion means this week. Um, and you know, we talked and thought a lot about this when we were first starting the Changemaker Initiative. Uh, because Ashoka, our partner in the beginning of this project, uh, uses the word empathy. That's, uh, that's what they see, that change makers are people who are working toward um, change, innovation for the common good out of a sense of empathy, which means really their ability, people's ability to see the world through someone else's eyes. We shifted that term a little bit as we began the change maker church work. Uh, we said, no, what, it's not exactly empathy. What we believe that people who do change making work out of a faith orientation do is they do that work out of compassion, which is a little bit different. Compassion means not just feeling connected to someone else's suffering, it means doing something about it. But recently I heard a quote by the theologian Henry Nouwen that I think puts compassion in even a more, um, a, a better light, a, a better explanation, and I want to share that with you today. Nouwen wrote uh, a, in a book, he said, here we see what compassion means. It is not a bending toward the underprivileged from a privileged position. It is not a reaching out from on high to those who are less fortunate below. It is not a gesture of sympathy or pity for those who fail to make it in the upward pull. On the contrary, compassion means going directly to those people and places where suffering is most acute and building a home there. Going to the places where suffering is most acute and building a home there. Meaning staying there. Staying there not just until we finish handing out a plate of food or giving something away that we have created here, even money. It means staying there, building a home there with people whose Need is something different than ours is. That's what compassion does. That's what Jesus did, I think. That's the compassion of Jesus that forms us and forms the way we want to be in the world. I think about our words for this church, connection and compassion and courage, and about how all three of those really are connected with that definition of compassion. Long, sustained connections with people who need it. Compassion, meaning that openness of heart and courage, because to go anywhere other than our own home requires courage from us. Uh, so this is who we want to be, people who demonstrate this kind of compassion. And I'm really grateful to be part of a church that knows this about what it wants to be in the world and how it is uh, living its life actions that lead our hearts to a wider compassion is how we talk about it in our vision statement. That's what you're doing this week and I'm really grateful to be part of that. Take good care.